Gamer, and welcome to my video on some of the settings for IS Boxer uh, that goes a little bit more in depth than my first video. Alright, so as you see, this is IS Boxer Toolkit set up right here. The first tab would be Characters. You want to make sure all your characters are listed here. There's not too, too much in here. Just make sure that you have each character um, set up with the correct profiles, the correct game. Um, stuff like that basically in here. Other than that, there's not too too much. Character sets, however, has a lot more in it. Um, the number is 1, 2, 3, and 4 uh, for, for each character. If you click on 1, 2, 3, or 4, you'll see here you can change this uh, key to change it so that you can hit whatever key you want to switch to that window to make that window your main screen window. Um, as you can see, I have the F key set up for that. Um, if you click on the performance tab here, you can limit the frame rate in foreground and background. Uh, you also have complete control of CPU cores for each character and each window. Um, key maps would be later on. All right key maps here always on as you can see I added some key maps here these are the three that I added these allow my wind my main window my main character to broadcast to one other character so I don't broadcast to all of them so this one makes it so that on my main character and my second character broadcast together this is my first character and my third character and first and fourth character this is just in the event that a couple of my characters die, but I have more than one still alive, so I'm not clicking everything on the screen and logging out of the game or something like that. Um, and I switched my activate repeat key here. Um, the stock key to hit is, uh, I want to say it's shift alt r. Um, that is to bro activate the broadcasting across all windows. Here is where you change it. And as you see, I changed it to num1 because I use a Naga and it's a very easy button for me to hit. Um, window layouts. This is the team that I use for uh, Diablo. Here you can change the, the regions, how you want them set up. You can, minim you can change the size of them, etc. Um, you can also change if you want them always on top. So if you bring a window over them, if you turn it off, if you bring a window over them, that window will stay over them until you click directly on that game. Uh, the main one is usually off, the other three are on. Um, um, I'll give you an example right here. Let's see. If you turn this one to off, that would be my fourth window right there. Alright, now, if I was to bring this right here and click on my main window, as you can see, the difference between this one and this one is this window is still displaying right here. But now, if I turn it back on, it'll only be on if, the, if my main window is in the foreground. So we'll export, and now, if I click on my main window again, as you can see, it goes away. Alright. Uh, repeater profiles. Uh, and whitelist and blacklist. As you can see, I added a blacklist. Uh, my num keys 0 through 9 and enter are all blacklisted. This is so I don't accidentally hit enter trying to talk to somebody and end up hitting enter across all my windows. Um, my num keys I also use for passwords and stuff, so just make sure that I'm not uh, typing in money amounts in the auction house or something like that and broadcasting to every window at the same time. Um, so you can do that here or you can whitelist them, stuff like that. Um, mostly that pretty much sums up uh, the, most of the settings that I really use. Uh, you really have to kind of spend time with Iceboxer to learn a lot of the other stuff. There's a lot of different things you can change and that's just really 
only a couple of the things that you can do. I will probably uh, delete this video at a later date and go through even more detailed settings, um, but this at least gives you an idea of really where to go and what to really change if you're looking for something in specific. Um, just to end this video with, to give you a couple tips, if your FPS is struggling with IS Boxer, etc., um, these are some of the things you definitely want to check. First, you want to check Interspace, right click, Configuration. You need to make sure that your FPS limiters are off. You might be able to play with them and change them around a bit. It might help you somewhat. It depends on your computer and everything else. Try it and find out for yourself. Um, the other settings you want to check to make sure are in Window Layouts and the team that you have for your characters. You want to make sure that that back I apologize you want to go to character sets team 1 and 1 2 3 and 4 you want to make sure that under performance that you limit the frame rate in the background and either don't limit the one on the foreground or limit it to like 60 with a 60 Hertz monitor or 120 with a 120 Hertz monitor or you can even lower it if it works for you it might even help uh, your FPS with having more than one window open um, here as well, make sure all your cores are checked or try to alternate cores if you like for each individual window. Um, but again, that totally relies on your PC and some of the settings you want to really play around with. Um, those are pretty much the, the main settings you really want to check. You also want to make sure that in Diablo itself that you try to limit as much as you can. As you see, I do have a max uh, background FPS. I actually need to change this because it's at the wrong amount. Um, you want to make sure that if if you're playing like I am with one big window and the other ones are small and you're not really looking at them, um, you want to make sure you try to you know put on low FX if you're struggling with FPS. Turn off everything you can. Um, don't run AA, stuff like that. Um, you know, just only want to do it on these windows though. Uh, the main window, which would be this window that I always play with, is my main character that's always, unless I switch windows, um, his settings are a bit different. Now, these ones I actually have turned up. Again, it depends on your computer and what it can handle. I could probably turn all my windows up and it'd be just fine, but it's totally your choice. Uh, you also definitely want to make sure, I won't show you this part, but you want to make sure that you go on into your video cards control panel and change settings around in there if you're struggling with FPS. Turn them down in there as well as in Diablo. Um, that might give you some more uh, help with struggling with that. Um, if you happen to have a problem with your mouse uh, out of sync with your other windows, like for example, if I point at this character's head right here and the mouse on the other windows is pointing to the side of it or something like that, you can try going to your options and changing it from like full screen to windowed full screen and back again kind of thing. Um, you want to try to run IS Boxer in windowed full screen if at all possible. It will help a lot better. It'll help a lot more than running it in full screen. Um, that's most of the settings. There is one other trick you can do, and that would be going into a text file from Diablo settings and actually editing um, stuff in the file that would affect the coding in the game. You can Google that if you want, but I do not want to show those types of things uh, on the video because of how, uh, how easily you can screw up your game. Just make sure you make backups of the files if that's the case. Uh, that pretty much sums up most of the things I wanted to clear up and go through. Uh, feel free to add me or visit my stream if you have any other questions. And thank you for uh, watching the video.